Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on Sweet on Seculants with May. I'm May, and today we're going to talk about Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg. Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg translates to Pearl of Nuremberg. It's known for its striking beauty. This lovely frosty rosette shaped succulent develops deep purple hues and pink hues with increased sun exposure and produces a delicate pink and yellow bloom in the summer. In the 1930s, this Echeveria was developed by R. Gressner as a hybrid of Echeveria metallica and Echeveria elegans, also known as Mexican snowball, which is native to semi-desert regions of Mexico. It is cute, thick, round, pointed leaves. It's hardy in plant zones 9 through 11. It does well in partial shade to full sun. Um, it's a low growing plant, not exceeding one foot in height, and it will have branch growth. In my experience, I've had the great pleasure of growing these to about seven to eight inches in diameter. Um, I water this succulent thoroughly and will not water again until the soil uh, totally dries out. Too much water in this echeveria may suffer, causing it to lose leaves or eventually die from root rot. In regards to sun exposure, if left in shaded areas, this plant will remain greenish gray with some purple hues. It may become etiolated and grow leggy, searching for a stronger light source. If it does grow leggy, you can introduce it to tiny increments of more light. The legginess will not revert, but the new growth will be more compact. And I find that in my garden living inland in Southern California, um, that they do burn and won't do well if exposed to prolonged periods of the af afternoon sun. In my garden, I find that the optimal light conditions to bring out the beautiful pinks and purples of this Echeveria is in direct morning sun until about late morning, early afternoon. This plant is in full intense morning sun until about 1130 and by noon it's in shade. If you do purchase one from a nursery, you'll want to mimic the same light conditions, uh, introducing it to more light in small increments until you've attained your preferred light exposure. Although the succulent may be planted in the ground, I do prefer to keep mine in pots or containers so that I may easily check the health of my PVN and remove any dead leaves which attract pests such as mealybugs. Also, placing it in a pot allows me to move it to more desirable areas in my garden given existing conditions. If you are in an area where temps drop in the 30s, you'll want to bring your Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg indoors, giving it bright light by a window or placing it under grow lights. If you keep it indoors by a window, make sure to rotate it to achieve balanced growth. The frosted look of the PVN comes from the farina, which is a wax found on the exterior of the leaves. This is normal for Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg and should not be removed as it is beneficial for the plant. The farina acts as a protective coating which protects it from excessive surface wetting, moisture loss, and UV light. The wax is hydrophobic and repels water. In my personal experience, the farina rubs off easily and once rubbed off, it does not come back, at least not at a noticeable rate. The leaves on the PVN, however, do grow out and all the new leaves will grow with the farina present. Propagation. Propagation is easy with this beauty. You can behead her and she'll grow roots. Also, you can propagate the leaves, removing them by wiggling them off the stem, but it has to be the entire leaf. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and please comment below with any questions and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Happy planting!